PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Shroud here for PC Perspective. We are here at the AMD booth at CES 2015, really for the product and the demonstrations that everybody has been waiting for. We are here looking at live, almost ready, FreeSync monitors, right? So we've, got, we've actually got a set of three of them here in front of us. Um, this is actually an LG. The first one here is an LG, 21 by nine aspect ratio, 2560 by 18, I'm sorry, 2560 by 1080. Uh, and interestingly, this is actually running on an A10 7850K APU. So this is actually running off of an APU. Um, it is uh, fully functioning. You can see we've got, we're running at a frame rate of 42. Uh, there is no horizontal tearing that we're seeing. Things appear to be very smooth. Uh, we have a, uh, a Samsung monitor here. This is a 4K. Uh, up to 60 hertz. This is running kind of a custom-built demo that they have uh, with things rotating and spinning to demonstrate. This is running on an R9 290X. So this is 4K AV, uh, uh, almost IPS, we'll say. Um, but it is 4K, up to 60 hertz resolution. And then this one over here is the BenQ. This is 2560 by 1440 TN panel. Uh, and 144 hertz refresh rate. So this is maybe the most common or the most direct competitor to what we know of G-Sync. And again, you can see we're running at frame rates inside of 40, underneath 50, no visual tearing. So now there's a couple interesting, interesting things to talk about here as we look at these FreeSync monitors and things that we've learned. One, all these monitors will have different peak refresh rates, 60, 60, 144, but they also have different minimum refresh rates, 40, 40, and 30. So the, the 4K and the uh, 25 by 10 actually have minimums of 40, and the higher, res higher refresh rate actually goes down to 30. Now what's interesting about that is that is a specification of the monitor, of the panel, not of FreeSync, not of AMD GPUs. So that's something that the panel vendor as well as the monitor manufacturer decide, and it's based on kind of whatever the, uh, the controller can handle and what the pixel response times are. And there's some interesting decisions about it. Now, we've, they've got this demo running here, and I'm going to click some things, but it's not really going to show up on here because of we're recording at 30 frames. You're going to watch us on YouTube at 30 frames. Things are going to be out of sync. It's, it's going to be weird. But what's interesting is they have, notice they have a free sync and a, a, a V-Sync option in here. And you can set the frame rate to different things. So actually, unlike G-Sync, where once you turn on G-Sync, kind of V-Sync doesn't matter, V-Sync does matter here. So if you have free sync on, but you have VSync off, uh, things will appear differently, right? So FreeSync is only utilized in that range from the minimum to the maximum supported, 40 to 60 in this case on this 4K monitor, right? If you go at frame rates above 60, which you can, right, uh, in a game, then the VSync option is what takes precedence. So if you have VSync off and you're over 60 frames per second, you might see here there are kind of over uh, 60 or like 60, 61. And you'll see some tearing in there and you go, oh no, that's not really working. Well, what this is a conscious design de decision they made where if you are gaming over 60, on a, uh, where outside of that range, then you have the option to enable VSync or disable it. If you want the lowest latency and the, the image on the screen as fast as possible, you can turn VSync off. But if you turn VSync on, all of that goes away, right? So now when you are above 60 frames per second being rendered or below 30 seconds being rendered, then you are effectively uh, running with VSync enabled. So that's some of the changes to uh, FreeSync that we're seeing here. There's also other things, you know, availability. They're talking about a few weeks, you know, definitely in quarter one, no finalizing on prices yet. Uh, we've seen, we've got BenQ and we have Samsung and LG here. There are others and there are other uh, particular models that we uh, will be seeing throughout the week here at CES. I'm very interested to see how this turns out, right? What we need to do is we need to see direct comparisons of this. We need to see uh, uh, how their standards and how their, their certification process affects things. I'm very excited about this, uh, and I think a lot of our readers and viewers are as well. So make sure you ch stay tuned, PCPer.com. We're going to have a lot more coverage on FreeSync monitors, what they do well, what maybe they don't do well, what they're going to cost, and when you can finally buy them. Thanks, guys.